Good morning, everyone. I'm so grateful to be part of this family and to have this opportunity to talk to the children of God and my family as well. I don't know how long uh, I have here, but I will use a very, very limited time to thank God and his people. I come from Uganda. That's the country of my nationality. It's in East Africa. I've been here for one year now. I joined this church in November last year. I joined the family, not a church. I want to be grateful specifically for the people that I will mention and generally the rest of this congregation. I want to thank Reverend Jim, Reverend Jason, who is not around today, Melanie, my friend, she's right there. I am so grateful for the love that you give to whoever comes, no matter where they come from. I have been brought up in a background of people who worship God, who fear God. But eventually in my life, I encountered some challenges. It's a very, very long story, but I'll briefly share with you. I joined politics when I was still back in my country, and it was not good on my side. I was persecuted by my own and the rest of those who think they have the authority. I'm grateful for God's grace that has protected me since my childhood, since I lost my mother, since all that I have gone through to reach here. In September last year, I came to Canada. I don't know how I managed to come, but I came. In this time, today as I stand here, I was granted a permanent residence in this country. This was not my prayer, but I knew that I would become who I am today. But God knew, and he had planned. So, I want to thank those who accepted me the way I came to them, the way I approached them, for the support, spiritually and physically. Aria October, my lawyer withdrew from my case, and he told me that he will not be able to continue. I asked him why. He said, because I am not able to, to do what is required for him to stay. Immediately, I contacted my friend, Melanie. I told her, I shared actually, I was just sharing with her. She requested me, if it is okay with me, to talk to our Reverend Jim and Jason. I definitely shared to them. And no one asked me anything. Jason and Jim, they only asked me how I want them to help me. I want to thank you for trusting me. The most expensive gift in this world is trust, especially in the youth. For anyone to trust a young person like me, someone who comes from anywhere, 
because no one knew where I came from. So they believed in me. They trusted me. No one asked me for the evidence of what I'm talking about. They were only willing to help me. It is so rare to approach anyone and they are willing to stand with you in whatever case you're going through. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for making me feel at home even when I was away from home. I want to thank the Metropolitan Church, the leadership, and everyone in this church for welcoming foreigners, for welcoming whoever comes through that main gate, regardless of their backgrounds. And I want to pray to God His grace to bless you, bless your families, bless whatever you lay on your hands because you love. They have just read a scripture here in Matthew that the Lord will ask that I came to you and you never sheltered me, you never gave me food, you ignored me, and we will ask when and how did you come to us? So we don't know. I want to share with you something, a little, it's a scripture. But before the scripture, there's a quote. It says that your story is the key that can unlock someone else's prison. My story, my testimony, my thanksgiving can unlock anyone. Maybe at some point he's going through what I have went through, what I have experienced. It is only God that can turn mess into a message, a test into a testimony, a trial into a trial, and a victim into a victory. My testimony is the story of, your, of my encounter with God and what Lord he has prayed throughout my life. My testimony today that I'm sharing with you, it might sound normal, but to me, it's a supernatural grace of God. Lastly, I will, not take, I will not go beyond this. There's a scripture in Psalms 22, 22. I will praise you to all my brothers and sisters, and I will stand up before the congregation and testify of the wonderful things you have done. Here I am today to testify and glorify God's grace God is love, and God is la supernatural, sufficient grace that endures forever. Thank you, last but not least, the entire Metropolitan Church for standing with me until I got my decision. Thank you for wishing me well, even to the last day. He asked me, he wrote me an email saying that we are so certain that God is with you. And I'm so happy that I'm wishing you success today. I came back with a positive result. I don't know what I had to present before the the, the member of the IRB, but God had prepared what to present there. Thank you, Merani, for writing a support letter. My brother, Gan, I don't know whether he is here. Thank you for giving me a support letter. And Jason, may God grant you all your heart desires. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2024 to come. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you.